to the sidewalk by the beach. I am the bird, and I think this place is extraordinary. I'm the turtle. I'm so lonely on this beach. It's hard for me to come out of my shell, but I come out every day at 6.18. Me, 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 me. I'm the crab, and I'm very crabby, but I'm also a nosy neighbor. I want to know about everything going on. Look! Someone left graffiti on the sidewalk next to the beach! But who? And the graffiti looks like a picture puzzle. What a mystery! I know who can solve this mystery. See Auguste Dupont! Enigma's puzzles, hieroglyphics, he will solve any case. Bum, bum, bum. Written by Edgar Allan Poe, inspired by Francois Vidoche. See Auguste Dupont. And my sidekick, Krabs, a nosy neighbor. I am the crabby crab and a nosy neighbor. That is always mad. Me, 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 me. Master of DNA analysis. I am the sidekick and I'm on the case. I have two sides that make me a great detective. Part of me is laid back. I solve crimes for my own amusement. And the other part of me is a pro at solving puzzles and analyzing hieroglyphics. This graffiti looks like a picture of a dog. I found graffiti too. It's a picture of a broken clock. Because I'm excellent at puzzles and hieroglyphics, I'll try to decipher it. The first picture is a dog, or K9. K is short for kilo, or thousand, so K9. Maybe the dog graffiti represents the number 9000. And this picture is a broken clock set to 618. The combined number is 618-9000. That sounds like a phone number. Let's call it! Boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. Ring, ring! Bonjour, who is this? Hi, I'm a strange snail. Who is calling my shell phone? Well, this is Detective Dupin. Come over to the beach sidewalk. It seems a stranger answered the phone. We can use DNA analysis to see if the snail is the true graffiti culprit. And I can use my nosiness to distract snail while you take a DNA sample. Hey snail, have you met Turtle? No, I guess she is just shy. I haven't seen her out of her shell. I got the DNA sample from the shell phone. Let's analyze it. I'll use gel electrophoresis to compare the DNA on the graffiti with the genetic material from the snail's shell phone. If it was the snail, then the band pattern of the DNA should match. I'm a strand of DNA. In gel electrophoresis, DNA is pipetted into the gel board wells for analysis. But first, it's cut by the restriction enzyme, so I need to make a run for it. Ah! Ouch! Gel electrophoresis pipettes the DNA, and we can see their similarities. A. The lengths of the strands are shown by the bands. The test results were inconclusive because there were no clear bands present in the gel, so we can't rule out the snail. This could be a red herring. Maybe more analysis of the clock graffiti will help us solve this puzzle. Look at the dog. It could mean rough, like the sound a dog makes. And the clock means time. The dog is also a pup. And the clock shows hours. The message is that the suspect is having a rough time because they're not pup you hour. Who could that be? Hmm, the broken clock shows the time 618. Because I'm nosy, I know that 618 is the time that Turtle peeks out of her shell every day. And look, the minute hand of the clock points towards the turtle's hut. Let's use DNA analysis again to compare the sample from the graffiti to turtle's DNA in the BLAST database. BLAST, basic local alignment search tool database of DNA. It finds nucleotide similarity. The higher the percent match, the closer you are to catching the culprit. I'm the DNA gathered from the graffiti site. And I'm Turtle's DNA, found in the online BLAST database. 99% similarity? The software says it's a match. I know who did it! Done! 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 It was Turtle! Turtle, why'd you leave the graffiti on the beach sidewalk? The graffiti was a hidden message. I'm so lonely and unpopular, I just wanted to come out of my shell. Wow, my nosy skills help me investigate, distract the snail, and learn about DNA analysis. And I use my skills as an amused detective. And a master of puzzles and conundrums and hieroglyphics to figure out that turtle was the culprit. And I'll be out of my shell for the rest of time.